Good day everyone, this is Alvin again from the Philippines and welcome to my top 10 best in national costumes for Miss Universe 2021. So earlier today, the national costume competition happened after the preliminary competition, so which means that I will be releasing th three to four videos related to Miss Universe very soon. First is the national costume, then the best in swimsuits, prelim preliminaries, best in evening gun preliminaries, followed by the final prediction. But for now, let's focus on the national costumes because there's a lot of amazing costumes, but I have only picked my top 10 and it's very difficult to pick my top 10. So let's see if we share the same list of favorites, starting with my number 10, Mexico. Mexico's costume depicts an Aztec queen and she certainly screamed queenly with a vibe of power and elegance in her costume. The details here are super super beautiful from the outfit to the three pieces of round attachments behind her. I also love the pose that she did because it feels like she's showing us a message of how strong women are. Me number nine goes to Spain. What a beautiful representation of the salamander. The colorful designs are super attractive and I don't mind the addition of the feathers. It gives me it gives more element to the costume although personally I truly don't understand the reason behind those feathers but I'm pretty sure they have the meaning. I just don't get it while I mean during the execution but I love it. That's what I've said. It gives more element to the outfit and the tail. I am loving that. Me number eight goes to Venezuela. Inspired by Venezuela's national flower, her costume screams elegance and beauty and I love how she carried the costume with so much grace and we have seen so many flowers as inspiration for national costumes in the past and this one is definitely one of the best representation of it. I mean look at every details from the headpiece to the design to the, and I love, imagine how, it, how much work they put into it just to put those tiny crystals and details on the costumes and it's something that I really have to commend and her execution was just simply outstanding. I mean, number seven goes to Peru. The light being used is super effective in Ms. Peru's uh, costume because it truly captivated that ethereal character she depicts. She looked immaculating, she looked commanding, and the entire costume was well crafted and well executed. The best part is when the lights turned off because it perfectly showcased the effectivity of those lights being added to the costume. Me number six goes to Puerto Rico. I am amazed at how Puerto Rico made those turns in dance moves. She made the costume look lighter, wearable, and it just shows how durable the costume is. And I also love her execution. I am loving the headpiece very much and the super intricate details that are being added and attached to the costume. And I believe that's well thought of design. What's even more impressive is that I feel like the costume is beautiful, but Michelle wearing the costume, I feel like she breathes life to the costume. I mean, number five goes to Nigeria. I am in love with Nigeria's costume, especially when she was showing the huge mask in the beginning. I feel like it's very heavy, but she carried it beautifully and she was even doing the dance moves and it feels like she made everything so light as well. I am also feeling like I was invited into the festive culture of her country. Love the execution, especially with how huge the mask is. That's absolutely commendable. When she removed the mask, I also appreciated it because it revealed some more stunning design and loving the headpiece as well and the costume in it. Gorgeous. Two thumbs up to that. My number four goes to India. When India came out, I was like, finally, we are seeing a beautiful twist while sticking still to the tradition and culture of India. The outfit is super gorgeous and Harnaz screams royalty in it. The addition of the umbrella was superb. I think that was genius because it gives a new element to the costume. And what's even more amazing is the execution of Harnaz, which really showed that 
just by looking at her face, you can really see how she is enjoying every execution that she do, and that is very, very important. My number three goes to Panama. Panama's costume is inspired by their public bus, and I love this costume very much. I love the fiesta of colors in the costume because it just gives more, what they call this, that fun vibe on stage. I love each and every element which truly resembles the bus. I also love the LED lights being added to the bus. I just wish that the lights were darkened on stage so that it would have been more effective with and because we haven't really seen much of it. We can see the lights but it isn't more effect. It isn't that much effective. That's what I'm trying to say. And what's even better to what what's even beautiful to watch is that her execution because Panama's execution screams so much energy and fun vibes and us viewers made us very happy watching her executing that costume as well. My number two goes to the Philippines. The I am super impressed, I mean, by the decision of Team Philippines to explore a more unique and different concept for the Philippines. I mean, the Bakunawa is a mythical creature that swallowed the moon which created the eclipse and I believe that it is perfectly demonstrated and crafted through that costume. I am loving the two heads of the creatures on her shoulders with a full moon on its mouth, on their respective mouth. I mean, that is super, super impressive. I love the accessories on the head, the fingers, the, I mean, those, I mean, what they call this, those very sharp nails of the Bakunawa, I love that. And also the beautifully made patterns on the side of her legs, which I believe resembles the body of the creature. That is super, super gorgeous. But to me, my choice for the best in national costume goes to Vietnam. The inspiration of her costume is the purple rice, and I truly, truly enjoyed everything about the costume and the colors of the costume as well. I love the metallic colors because it's something very unique, different, and also very, very attractive to watch. And when she opened the backdrop, which revealed how stunningly beautiful and delicious that delicacy is, I mean, that was it. That was a home run for me. I also love how the purple rice she's carrying on her hands, she immediately sliced, I mean, not really sliced, but it was already cut in half. But when she did that, it perfectly complemented the design of her backdrop. I really, really love that. That's genius. It turns out that it wasn't just an accessory but it's also something it gives something different as well and most importantly i can say that we definitely save the best for last in the national costume competition so vietnam is my winner i'm not sure who's going to win but she's my choice to win best in national costume so what are your thoughts about my top 10 list of favorites for the national costume do we share the same winner do we share the same favorites so don't forget to leave your comments below don't forget to give a thumbs up and share the video as well and most importantly don't forget to subscribe because you'll be seeing more of these videos in the future for now thank you very much and have a wonderful day from the philippines